How is everybody doing today? My name is Wild Leprechauns, or Cody, whichever you prefer. And today I'm bringing you a really old gameplay that I had from Modern Warfare 3, the good old days. And I say that because this game, in my opinion, was more fun in a lot of ways than Black Ops 2 is. And I'm going to get more in depth of that, but quickly wanted to mention about the gameplay that this is actually my first Moab, and this is recorded from theater, so if it looks like some shots are missing and stuff, then it's just because Modern Warfare, theater, Modern Warfare 3's uh, theater was very, very bad in a lot of ways. A lot of the stuff didn't make sense that you saw through it, and it was terrible. And also, I just want to quickly point out that you have to forgive me for all the camping that I do, because I really didn't know any of the maps at this point. It was like one or two months into the game, and I was kind of still new to the game. I didn't get a feeling for everything yet. So I was kind of camping just because I didn't know what to expect. And also, you're going to hear in the background, there's a lot of explosions and stuff going on. So I was kind of scared when I started getting on the higher streaks, so I kind of camp harder then. But today's commentary is really not going to be focused on gameplay, it's going to be focused more on the games themselves, like Hole of Duty, and Minecraft, and everything else, and how I find them to be enjoyable in different ways, and how I find people to kind of be misusing them, or like misplaying them. So they're not really fun for them, but they're just playing them because they want to play them, it's just, I don't see the point in that in my opinion. And to start off, I'm going to make an example, and that was me. I used to be one of those sort of people, I would just play the game, because it was the new game and it wasn't really because I was having fun in the game but it was just because basically the entire population that was on the Xbox Live was either playing that game or my friends were playing that game and it was just the new sort of thing it was like the thing that people were saying you have to play like that's what I felt like for the majority of Black Ops 2's lifespan Black Ops 2 is basically in my opinion almost dead it's just it's not fun for me anymore for other people it might be still the best game ever made but to me it's just I really have exhausted the amount of fun I can have in that game in a lot of ways. I got every single weapon diamond. I mean, what else can I do? I've done the assault shield. I've messed around with the ballistic knives. I messed around with everything that could possibly be wonky and funny to use and bring amusement. And it hasn't really brought me any. And that just got me thinking, does Call of Duty actually make me happy? Or am I just playing it because other people are playing it? And because society says that this game is a good game. And I don't know, I think sometimes Call of Duty is fun for me, like Modern Warfare 3 was one of the f my favorite games of all time, and I say that proudly, even though this game was riddled with garbage, I mean, Dead Man's Hand, and like the nuclear sort of death streaks and stuff they had in this game that were overpowered beyond belief, and just everything was sort of out of balance, but to be honest, it was more fun than Black Ops 2 was, I mean, the challenge of getting the Moab, and the challenge of getting these score streaks and stuff, was a lot more fun in a lot of ways than Black Ops 2 has been for me. I mean, Black Ops 2, it's it's certainly enjoyable to some extent, but it's just not as enjoyable as this game was to me. This game was my... It was, this was actually the first Call of Duty I bought on opening day, and the first Call of Duty I played basically until the next Call of Duty came out. And I had a lot of fun in this game, even though there's a lot of garbage that happened to me in the game. And I don't know why it is just the fact that... I don't know why, I just can't really explain why I had so much fun in this game. It just doesn't make sense to me that I had more fun in the broken game than I had in a game that is somewhat really balanced in a lot of ways. I mean, Black Ops 2 is just balanced. And that also got me thinking, maybe that balancing the games in like a way that they do now just doesn't make the games fun anymore. And I don't know if it's really that, or if it's just me perceiving the game to just be less enjoyable because of a, less of a challenge and stuff in it, or, or whatever, I don't know. But Black Ops 2, I just really haven't been having that much fun in it. And as a result, I basically just stopped playing it for like a couple days. And I've actually been very happy. I've been playing other games. I've been playing Terraria. I've been playing Cube World. I've been playing many other games. And I realized that Black Ops 2 for me, it was a lot of times it was like a, like a crutch sort of thing. Like I was relying on it. I don't know why, but I had to play it every day. And that was the same with Modern Warfare 3 in the past. But Modern Warfare 3, I was having fun in for a while until the very end when it sort of sort of built up that anger sort of stuff that it was in me like the the garbage got to me and I was just like I can't play this game anymore it was just getting the good memories were getting smashed by the new garbage memories of Dead Man's Hand blowing me up off Moabs and stuff and I just couldn't take it anymore so I stopped playing that game too and I sort of went back and I actually messed around with the other Call of Duties and I think that's what the thing is that a lot of people need to do when they're getting frustrated with a the game they need to stop playing it a lot of people will just play it, just because they think, oh, it's just it's just today that's going to be, be bothering me. It's just going to be for an hour. I'm going to get perfectly fine after a few games. And sometimes that's the case, and you could have certainly like relax yourself if you have self-control. But other times, people just cannot relax themselves, and they get so worked up over the game. 
And, I mean, how can you have fun in a game that does that? How would you want to play that? And yet the people that get worked up a lot of the time seem to be the people that play the game the most. Like one of my friends, uh, I don't want to mention his name, but he always used to get so angry when we were playing Call of Duty and stuff. I'm not going to mention Call of Duty either because, I don't know, we just don't feel like it. But he was getting very frustrated when we were playing Call of Duty games and stuff. And just games in general. He would get very heated if he died or anything. And he would just scream and curse and yell and stuff. And I was telling him that he has to relax. And he was like, I can't relax. And I was like, then why are you playing this game? If it's making you upset, why are you playing it? And he didn't have a response. And I was like, in my head, I was thinking that when you're playing a game, you're playing it to have fun. You're playing it to enjoy yourself. You paid the money to enjoy yourself. Now, if you got the enjoyment out of it, then that's a good value. But if you didn't get enjoyment out of it, then you have to just think, why did I buy this game in the first place? Did I buy it because I was planning on having fun in it? And the game is just not worth my time because it's not a fun game? Or did I buy it because other people told me to buy it and I went with the general public? Like, everybody who was going to buy the new Call of Duty, for example. Like, with Modern Warfare 3 slowly dying because of its abundance of garbage and absolute just nonsensical events and stuff that have been happening in it. Like, the, the whole scandal of, like, people using the javelin sort of glitch again with Dead Man's Hand and stuff. And all this just nonsense. Like, people were like, okay, we're gonna get the new Call of Duty, we're gonna get Black Ops 2, it's gonna be perfect, it's gonna be much better. And there are people that are still playing Modern Warfare 3, they didn't stick with the general public. This game was still fun for them, even through that garbage, and I actually can say that I'm very happy that some people still did that. I mean, it takes a lot of courage, I think, and I don't know if you can really call it courage, I don't know a better word to describe it, but to stick with a game that you've been playing if you enjoy it enough, because a lot of people seem to think that if the game is not new it is not good and you can't play it and that's just completely wrong to me in my perspective i think that if a game is old and you had a good time that you should go back and play that game even though it's old i mean you might be playing a game that came out in the 90s that nobody plays anymore and it could be like the worst game ever but if it's your favorite game then you should play it because i mean if you're having a good time in it then you should be playing it you should be playing games to have a good time and when it comes to Call of Duty, I think a lot of people just play it because, first first of all, a lot of people just want to make YouTube videos, and that's kind of what happened to me. I got pulled into the whole cycle. I want to make YouTube videos. I want to do this and that. But, honestly, I'm not going to really be posting Call of Duty, in, in my opinion. I might be posting it here and then. I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but if it's not fun for me, I'm not going to post it. I just figured that out of my head. I was just thinking, I'm not going to post a game that I'm not enjoying. So, whatever game I'm enjoying from now on, I'm going to be posting probably on my channel. And some people might like that, some people might not like that, but I don't know. I'm going to try out Call of Duty Ghosts, I'll see how it is, but if it's not a fun game, then I'm probably going to just drop it within a few months or whatever, or maybe a couple weeks, depending on how bad it is or how good it is. But I'm, I'm going to keep my head clear, give myself like a positive sort of outlook on the game. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it'll be bad, I don't know. But we can't tell until the game gets here. But like I was saying, if you're getting frustrated by a game... You shouldn't be playing that game. Unless maybe it's a game that is made to be frustrating, like the Impossible game or something. Or Super Meat Boy, for example. You have to play a game that has somewhat of a challenge, but it can't be too challenging that you're getting frustrated. And it also can't be a game that's broken. Like, if you're playing a game that is just not fit for you because you find it to be broken for your like specific tastes, Say you're, like, you're an RPG sort of player and you go and pick up Call of Duty, you're not going to like the game. Why would you even buy it in the first place? Because your friend told you to. That's just not worth it. You have to buy the games that you want to play because you want to play them. You don't want to buy the game because your friend told you to play it. And also, if you have a game that you're not enjoying, just put it away and put it on the shelf. Maybe, maybe go back to it later on. But go and play some games that you had good memories of. Have that nostalgia. I mean, that's one thing that I strive to have when I play games. I try to get those moments that I can look back on and enjoy and I go and play those games later on I might drop the game for a few months but I'll go back and play it and it might be fun it might be bad but I want to make good memories with the games I play so I don't want to leave a sour taste in my mouth when I play the games so if I get frustrated with them I kind of just drop it for a little while and sort of think about the good memories and try to get myself thinking positive about the game if I'm enjoying it or if I at least enjoy it a little bit in the past because sometimes games they just don't go your way, and it makes you frustrated with them, but you gotta kinda relax, get in the mood to play the game, clear your mind, and just enjoy it. You have to really learn to enjoy it, and if you're not enjoying the game, put it away. Don't play it. It's not worth your time. 
Well, that's basically it, guys. I don't know if I'm going to go into a part two. Maybe I will with other stuff in the future. But uh, I think that's basically it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. It's been a while since I did one of these, and I thought I did pretty good for 10 minutes. So if you thought I did well, also leave a like rating. helps me out. And also, if you thought I did really well, hopefully I earned your subscription. So uh, you can just click that subscribe button, and that'll help me out a lot. And you can see other commentaries and stuff like this on my channel. But that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video. Bye.